Good morning. And welcome back to the channel, you guys. If you are new to our channel, my name is April. And my name is Rondell. And we have a kind of slow travel lifestyle channel. Today we are in Morelia, Michoacan. Yeah, man, we're scoping this place out for you so you can understand the beauty of this area. And it is a gorgeous area. Mm -hmm. uh, we're heading over to the gym this morning because we have a special day planned for you. Yeah, we are diving all into the food of this area, of this region. We have some recommended restaurants that we want to tell you about, but we're also going to explore a lot of regional dishes here. That's what's up, man. So um, this is the part of my job that I like. Yep. Uh, we're going to show you guys all around the restaurant scenes here uh, and show you what to dive into. But first, we got to get this sweat session on. Yeah. So um, get ready, guys. Batten down the hatches. Uh, get you some napkins and a bib together because we're chowing down today. <laughs> Let's go. Got done with the workout guys and it just felt really good to get back in there yeah man that's the first good sweat of uh morelia loved it uh now it's time to go with some nutrition and show you guys what this culinary life is all about here in morelia mm -hmm. you good yeah let's go eat all right you guys so number one on the list of things to try here in morelia it's something called a gazpacho, but it's not what you think it is. Right, because when I think of gazpacho, I think of like a cold tomato-based soup. Mm -hmm. That's not what it is. Here, it's like a fruit cup on steroids. It's like That's an adult fruit cup, okay, <laughs> fruit when you cup. think about it. And from my understanding, it's a mix of chopped up fruits, but then there's also some other interesting things in there as like well. Like onion. Like, yeah, finely chopped up onion, maybe some green chilies, and lemon lime juice, juice. Yeah. some cotija cheese, so, a lot of interesting kind of flavors coming together and I think we're in for an experience. Yeah, let's go get up into this gazpacho. Let's go. Did you put queso? No, queso. Chal, limon, and naranja? The Classico Gazpacho. So I'm trying to think of what I think this is going to taste like. I think it's really interesting. There was a lot of like orange juice and lemon juice poured in here so I think that that part of it and the mix of it is going to be really refreshing but I'm really curious to see like how it's going to mix with the cotija cheese and ground seasoning that they put on it as well. So we'll see. It's definitely refreshing because of the juice. I would have never have like myself put cheese <laughs> and mix it with fruit, but it's actually a pretty good combination. It's not a particularly like super strong cheese, but the flavors of it mix well with the fruit. So it's pretty good. I didn't get the traditional. Um, there's certain things that I like and don't like, and I know I don't like cheese and things. This is interesting. This is really good though. That, I think it's chamoy he put in here. It's not sweet, but it's super refreshing. That pineapple, I think it's jicama, the other fruit, jicama, um, and onion. I taste it. It's not strong. It's really, really, really good with that lime juice. Maybe that's jalapeno, not habanero. It's not that hot. Man, this is a new fan favorite. This is really good. Really good. It's savory, refreshing, fresh. A little kick of a, a little bit of heat, but not, not, not anything seriously real. Um, and you know, after a good workout, you need to have some sugars uh, to start replenishing those muscles. This is a perfect uh, post-workout snack. Man. 
that experience was not what I thought it was gonna be. I didn't think I was gonna like it because yeah. I'm really picky with fruit, but. Yep, she is. Man, that was delicious though. Yeah. That was a great, delicious, refreshing treat. And uh, definitely one that you gotta try when yeah. you're here. That is a must try, you guys. You'll love it. All right, you guys, we are making our way to our second destination today to try a treat that is native to this area, native to the Pecha people. Right, and that's the indigenous group that is from Michoacan area, mm -hmm. largely still here today. So we're excited to see something that has roots here from a very, very long time ago. And they still do it to this day. What mm -hmm. are we talking about, sweetheart? We are talking about corondas. Corondas. Essentially, it's a tamale. It's it is the king of tamales for the Pecha people. Mm -hmm. As you guys can see, this is not the traditional shape of a tamale. Right, they are triangular in shape. And this one in particular I think is normal, there's nothing inside of it. But um, there are some corundas that you can get with some things inside, but we're just trying the regular one. This is a tamale. <laughs> but in all honesty, this corunda was just okay. The highlight of our experience was a shop owner. This woman was full of life, full of love, full of warmth. She was spicy and I loved every second of our interaction. She actually gifted us a sweet tamale and a drink called an atole. It's a corn-based beverage. We were delighted to enjoy her hospitality. Find you an old lady who's spicy and warm and friendly. You know what I mean? She was really friendly. Man. And my Spanish was not up to par, so I'm not exactly sure how our conversation went <laughs> she was going in <laughs> but um i really appreciated the hospitality the corondas are definitely one of those things that you have to try in this area because you're not really going to get it in other parts of mexico you gotta try them as of right now we're going to go get some showers and mm -hmm. then try to find some lunch that's what's up you guys see you guys in a minute <laughs> It's sunny outside, so the architecture is really highlighted. Mm -hmm. It's a bustling little city. Everybody's going to and fro over here. But it's just magnificently gorgeous. When you say Spanish colonial, and we say it a whole lot, this is what they mean. You get the feeling that you're truly in Spain back in the 1500s. We just had our best meal we've had here, <laughs> period, hands down. Yeah. Yeah, um, it was really good. So the restaurant was called Tata Mezcalaria, something like that. they got every mezcal you can possibly think of. But better than the drinks is the freaking food. Yes. We ordered a few different things, like a soup to start, and mm -hmm. then like some little sopecitas, small sopes, and then enchiladas. But there were such unique twists on all of it that made it really, really good yeah. and memorable. So let me tell you about this soup. Our starter was a uh, lobster bisque poured over some shrimp and some blue corn tortilla little discs, right? Yeah. Delicious! With some, some kind of plants in there that were just yeah, oh flavorful. I, it was really good. Like I usually don't go for soups as starters, but... But since you with your boy, you know, she tried something new today. I tried. It was good. It was really delicious. So we split everything because we've learned our lesson in Mexico that you do not need to be ordering a whole entree. <laughs> um, so we split that soup in half. But if I had that whole thing, I would have been straight for the evening. You think so? Uh, I know so. That I don't was... think so. For me, I think that the sizes, the portions were okay mm -hmm. for the starters. Okay. The the meal itself was enough. But speaking of another starter that we had, the sopecitas, mm -hmm. I didn't realize that there would be like different toppings on each mm -hmm. sope. And there were three of them. And so it was like some sort of beef, chicharron, um, and then one was a what did they call like a them? vegetable one. Artesian uh, stir-fried vegetables, uh, vegetables of the region. I think they said they were the ancestors vegetables or something like that, the description we're in. Okay. But they were good. They were sweet and savory. It was just, it was really, really, know, really, we were, really, really our perfect. Enchiladas were getting cold while we were debating on if we were gonna be grown-ups and eat the vegetable so bare right. or not, but we did and we didn't regret it because it was really good. But now nah, them dang on enchiladas. Ooh. Okay, so first of all, like, they're enchiladas like we hadn't had before because they were enchiladas de marlin. 
and if you know marlin is like the bacon of the sea it has a really distinct taste to it and if you keep up with the yard bros y'all know that we got hip to this back in guadalajara and we ain't turned back since right <laughs> the mugs are they are delicious y'all i mean i thought they cooked it with some kind of sweet sauce but that's just the know. flavor of the meat but there was some sort of green sauce over it and mm -hmm. then there were sauteed shrimp over them as well that Man. were cooked to perfection cooked to perfection the whole dish was fantastic they, they were with flour tortillas but they were cooked with some kind of butter or something you know what i mean it was different than a normal tortilla anyway a1 a plus great freaking meal and on top of that we had two's mezcal cocktails <laughs> This restaurant has such a distinctive and cool style that was reflected in the decor, the food, and the drinks. Honestly, it had a whole lot of flair. And with a wall full of mezcal, you know we had to try a cocktail. And all of that came up to $35. $35. $35. And that's yeah. with the drinks, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So without the drinks, we're probably looking at $25 for a four star, four and a half star bill. It was Strong delicious. recommendation from us. Strong, strong, strong recommendation from Definitely us. Definitely, if you're here, check it out. Like it's a, it's um, maybe like a 15 minute walk from the Plaza de Armas in the cathedral here in the center. Where we are right now. So far, best meal we've had in Morelia and arguably in Mexico. All right, so look, you guys, the food scene here is insane. I mean, it's really top notch. Yeah, honestly, we didn't know what to expect, but we are pleasantly surprised at how many eateries we've had some delicious meals in. How much good food there is to eat in this town, we will not find out because it takes some deep diving. But you know what? There are some golden gems that we found, and one of the best places we found is not exactly Mexican. It ain't Mexican at all, y'all. It's yeah. Italian. <laughs> it's um, not exactly. <laughs> There's no relation, okay? <laughs> the lasagna factory. The lasagna factory is nice. Look, I was just something. Google searching one day restaurants in our area. Yep. And the name sounds cheesy, but it had really great reviews and we just had to try it. We popped up in there for some cheesy lasagna and some mm. wine one night. It knocked our socks off. It was fresh pasta, homemade pasta, and everything was just really fresh and really delicious. The house wine was really delicious. The Magnifique. place was, yep. it was yep. small, but not too small. It was really quaint and just romantic. Now, I don't know if y'all know us that well. Maybe y'all new to the channel, but when we find something good, we don't really give up. Nah, we we beat, went back the we next day and the next day. We had the pizza, we had the, what the was it, spaghetti, mm -hmm. and lasagna, and all of it was Damn good, yeah. man. Yeah. That is a straight up suggestion. Find the lasagna factory mm -hmm. and get there. It's over off the boulevard uh, in the New Chipotle area. There might be another uh, location too, but yeah, the one in our area. I don't know about no location nice. too. I know that one is the bomb. Mm -hmm. Straight up, delicious, man. All right, there's a restaurant located right in the historic Centro, right off of the Plaza de Armas called Conspiracion de 1809. 1809. I don't know how to say the number in Spanish. It's really, 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 really good. Look, we came there the night of uh, a Day of the Dead. Yeah. And it was uber busy. I think, I think that may be their busiest night of the year. It's and there's some some regional dishes called enchiladas placeras, but they are the ones that are known for this region. And I had the arancheras. It was just damn good, next level food. And while they were uber busy. They set us quickly, yeah, and they got that food up we to us like. We ordered quickly, mm. we were served quickly. Yeah, so. man. So that's a nice restaurant, and I would strongly, strongly, strongly recommend that place as well. It's definitely a spot to visit. Now, if you just like street food, like I do, and you like hot wings or whatever, I'm gonna tell you something. It's this place called Dante's Wings. Mm. <laughs> you guys, uh, there's some other must tries that you have to do, and that is the ice cream in this area. Mm -hmm. Straight up. Michoacan is known for their ice cream. Yes, and specifically because there is a town in the state that makes There's the a best. town in the state called Tacumba. Tacumbo. 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 Um, pronunciation might be off, but that city is known for making delicious ice cream, and particularly they're really famous for their popsicles, mm -hmm. which are called 
paletería. <laughs> so anyways, we're gonna try to get into that tonight. Um, but that's what's up, you guys. Uh, there's tons and tons and tons of food options here. I'm sure we're just scratching the surface of yeah. the different delicacies and the different food that is offered here. If you've been to Morelia and there's other must-tries or other restaurant recommendations you have, put them in the comments because people are always searching for the information that you have. And I know we only scratched the surface. Exactly, right? So thank you guys for joining us today. If you like this video, if you like the food, give us a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button. Join our we family. want you in the fam, man. Yeah. We want to hang out with Come you. On. We want you to hang out with us. Um, you guys turn on the notification bell. We'll be dropping on a regular basis. And then you want to get that notification when we do drop. And I think that's it, right? That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed looking at the food as much as we enjoyed shooting it. Ooh, Lord. And we'll see you next time.